Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I'm so excited to do this one as well. I know I just recorded um, Canary from Hunter and Hunter. And this one, we're gonna do another cool character. Her name is Sam from Cannon Busters. And so um, I'm excited because these two characters, for a couple reasons. The first reason is that I'm excited to do them because I will be using um, cardstock from my curated skin color collection so I'm going to showcase you know all the different browns the shades of browns that I have and they're beautiful um, secondly I had these files drawn up specifically uh, for the use of doing an off the mat character so uh, the salty canary no the salty yankee <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking of Canary, I'm the, the Salty Yankee, she's awesome. Um, she did up the files for me and they're amazing. They're ready to go. It's the fastest off the mat you're gonna, you're gonna have. And um, it was designed knowing that we didn't want any seams. So, uh, but we also didn't want a million pieces. So it's just that perfect combination uh, so we're gonna get started. All right, so this one is, uh, let's see if we can do it at, um, I don't know, let's go for 26 inches and see how big everything is, okay? So at 26 inches, let's go and make this a little bit smaller so we don't have to scroll up and down. I mean, she's just such a beautiful looking character. All right, let's look at the face. The face is 11.8 by 11.125. You may think that we can't cut this, but we actually can't. It's gonna put it on a 12 by 24 mat, but it doesn't matter. Just make sure that your paper goes all the way up to the 12 inch line and it'll cut this fine. So uh, let's see, how big did we say this was? At 26 inches. So at 26 inches, which is sizable, let's make sure that all our pieces, um, oops, obviously that one is small. We don't need to worry about that. These are all pieces that we can cut, 10.8 by 9.9. .9. All right, so we're gonna be using 12 by 12 cardstock. It looks like she's literally ready to go. All you need to do is you need to ungroup her. So what is this, 26 inches. 26 inches, you're gonna have a beautifully big character and she's gonna look perfect because she's gonna be seamless. So see all these pieces come out like this. They're all pieces we can cut. Now this we can't cut, it's 24, I'm gonna move this for a second so that we're in a clean area. It's 24 inches by 26 inches, so obviously the Cricut can't cut it. I do have an SVG on my website, theuselesscrafter.com, www.theuselesscrafter.com. You can purchase it. The reason why I love it is because the squares are all flushed together and once you um, purchase it and you download it it's and upload it into design space it's always available and it's super fast so all you would do once you upload it is you would go to images and you would search for squares that's the way I named mine and then I go and I click on upload it so it's just all the squares that I have um, the SVG file comes um, with two options both options so you uh, you will have both um, there's a nine square one and a 16 square one. So the 16 would be 44 inches by 44 inches. So if you make anything bigger, I can easily show you how to add on squares and make them flushed and you know be fast. But right now we just need the nine. So you're gonna click on the nine one and add to canvas. And these squares, like I said, they're flushed. So that means um, that they're not overlapping and there aren't any gaps. And that's important because when we go to put this back together, we want all the pieces to butt up next to each other so that the seams aren't as noticeable. It's all these little things um, together in this equation that will make your project really big and seamless. And that goes from picking the right images, using the right cardstock, using this um, grid of squares, all these little things add up, all these little things add up to make a really beautiful project. All right, so the only thing you need to do once you upload this is um, just drop it down and you're gonna go to the position feature and I always recommend to round to the nearest whole number. So this is going to be two and 31. And the reason why we do that is so that if we need to make any changes to the square, move it over a little bit, make some adjustments, we can easily keep them flushed because they're on whole numbers, okay? All right, now all you need to do is we need to go get the background. 
So we're going to scroll down over here and there she is and arrange send to the front. I mean, I love, I, I don't know if I can go back to not using um, customized files anymore because everything you just click ungroup, you don't need to slice anything out or contour anything out. We just go and make it. Um, and I've already cut this file, so I'm super excited. All right, couple things. This is something that you wouldn't wanna do right here because do you see, and I don't know why it's moving on me. Did you see that? You wouldn't want something like this because you see those tips, they're gonna be small and they're cut off and then you're gonna to need to tape it back together. So we don't want that. Our goal here is to make big pieces that we, easy to manage, easy to cut, easy to keep track of. Um, so we don't want these little horns by themselves. We want something like this. Um, so you see this is a good chunk right there, right there. We might want to, this little piece is by itself right here, which I don't love, but it's still not a super small piece. Um, we might be able to move this piece. So let's ungroup our squares at this point. And this is why I want to put it on a whole number because I think this might fit on two squares. So I'm going to delete this for now. I'm going to grab these two squares. And so they're going to move together, okay? I'm going to use the arrow key. And you see I'm kind of moving it over. Oh, good. Look, we didn't need it in three pieces. It fits in two. Um, so that's perfect. Let's see. All right. We can start slicing. Again, I don't love this, but wait a minute. We could, okay, let's do this. Let's slice this. And it's taking a minute. I don't know why it's not slicing. All right, design space. Did it slice? It looks like it sliced over here, but it's not showing on here. That's so weird. All right, I'm gonna slice over here and see what we get. Yeah, design space is definitely acting up right now. Okay, so these two pieces, I'm gonna move it over here. Okay, so those are our bottom pieces. They're sizable, 10 inches by four, four inches. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this, okay? Now, these three pieces, I feel like we can move this over. So hold on, let's grab this piece, arrange, move backwards. Um, actually, I'm gonna send it to the back, okay? And then I'm gonna grab these three squares and we're gonna shift them over. Oops, so you see right there we can see it. All right, so now let's scroll back down and bring her back to the front. So these are all the things that we can maneuver. Um, and if it didn't work out, we can easily put it back because we know where everything goes exactly because they're sitting on whole numbers. All right, so let's arrange and send to the front. So there she is now. So now this piece is bigger. This piece is all together, but her hair is all messed up. All right, I'm going to undo this for a second and I'm gonna move this back over just a split second. I'm gonna hit the shift key. I know you're like, what the heck? I'm gonna move it over just a little bit, okay. And then let's go and bring it back to the front. And I'm gonna show you why. Let's go to arrange, send to the front. Um, okay, so now this is good. So this piece is her hair right here. This is a big piece. All these are great pieces. Okay, so let's slice one at a time. So you can see, I just didn't want any baby pieces hanging out there. And down here, we were able to do two, two seams instead of three. So I'll take that anytime. And I'm gonna grab from here and slice out that middle section. 
When we're slicing, you can only slice two things at one time. So in this case, it's gonna be the black background and one square at a time, okay? And so you can kind of see with my mouse, I'm not moving anything here yet. I'm just gonna grab this square and bring up my mouse and grab the black background. And that's two pieces and I'm gonna slice. And okay, there. It's glitchy, that piece should not have disappeared, but we don't need that piece. So I'm just gonna grab this, put this over here. So you see these are all nice big chunks. This one's not as big, but it's okay. It's still pretty big. I mean, seven and a half inches by almost three inches. All right, and then we can get rid of this. And we're gonna slice the hair portion and then we're done. Can you believe it? It's, I don't think I can go back to not having a customized file for off the mat. Um, all these pieces, remember, like we're using 12 by 12 cardstock. I wouldn't want, um, let's see. Oh, that's already moved. Okay. Um, I don't want like the face, for instance, to have a big seam down the middle of the face or anywhere, in fact. So that's why the the face was dictating how big we can make this piece. And that's why we went with 26 inches because her face, let's go back and look at it real quick. Her face is almost the full size of the 12 by 12 cardstock. You see that? So we're done. Can you believe that? Let's go to make it so I can show you what that screen looks like. I've already cut her. I'm super excited. Um, She's gonna be so pretty. We're gonna do it this weekend. You're gonna be able to see it. Um, here, just click okay. All right, here are the whites, okay? The black background. Now these pieces you can kind of move. Maybe we can add that somewhere else and, oh yeah, we can definitely get rid of some of these pieces. This piece right here, we can click on the three dots, move object. We're gonna move it onto another um, sheet so that we can have less cuts So I'm gonna move that to here. Okay, so that all fit, right? Um, what's left? Um, I don't think we can consolidate anymore. These are kind of big pieces. Um, so the black is going to be in five sheets to cut this. Um, yeah, I don't think I can move that anymore. Here is her face. Her face goes past the 12. I would just rotate this a little bit. Okay, let's move all these pieces. So when you go to cut this, what I would do is if you only have a 12 by 12 mat, I would make sure my paper extends past the 12 inch line and it'll be fine because you see up here, it doesn't start right at the zero zero, right? There's a margin, there's a, there's a little bit of room right there. So you can put your paper all the way, just a smidge past the 12 by 12 and this will cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Perfect. That's our brown. Okay, here is our, um, this is her hair. This goes well beyond, but remember when you go diagonally, you have a little bit more space. So now see if we can put this up here. Oops, not quite. There. So moving it diagonally, we're now well underneath the 12 inch line. We can move this up. So this can be one cut right here, right? All that is 12 by 12. This piece as well, we can move it over, make it diagonal, that'll buy us some room because diagonally you can go much further. So there, that's now under 12 inches. This is under 12 inches as well. All right, here's our gold pieces. Now you can always, um, rearrange these a little bit more to make it more compact. 
so you can see you can move that. Uh, let's see, here's our gray pieces. This is her sweater. Same thing with the sweater. I would move all these pieces down and then I'll take that big chunk up there and make it diagonal. Let's move this down a little bit. Okay. Move this over and then turn it a little bit more. And now this will fit. Yep, see it's smaller than 12 by 12. And then these pieces you can consolidate either down here or you can try to work them all up here. I can't remember, I think I, actually, you know what? I think I was able to fit it all on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So on one sheet, not two sheets. So let's see if I can recreate that here. <laughs> um, I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna try. I think I did something like this, but this needs to go up higher right there, which means this piece, oh, oh, I have room, look it. Okay, um, let's move this piece, see if there's room up here for this. Oh, that's not gonna fit. Let me see, does that fit anywhere else? I was able to get this to fit earlier. Oh, there, okay, let's see. That means I can move this up a little bit more. Let me see if I can move this. Now I'm determined. I did make it work on mine. I promise I did. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, that works, but then now I don't have any room for this. What did I do? Okay. <laughs> you get the idea though. All right, that's all I have for you. Um, come back, see me put it together. It's gonna look amazing. Um, and also just to see all the different colors, uh, skin, skin tones that we have, and you can see the wide range. All right, I will see you guys next time. Thank you.